Clyde Regional Council have spent £100,000 transporting the work of 100 different artists from the Southern African regions to here at the Kelvin Grove. And tonight is the party to launch it. And I'm late. The, the people in Glasgow and Strathclyde realise that with this we're trying to do something for them. It is their money. And our councillors are very keen to, to, to see the people become involved. But how did you actually find these artists? Right, well I went to Africa, to Southern Africa last October, November for a very quick trip, one week in each country. So that was six weeks in all going through from Mozambique right the way across to Angola. And then we went into each country with a fair amount of lists of people to speak with and one person always leads to another and they were all very hospitable and happy to show us around. Titus, tell us about your part in the Frontline States project. I am a protest poet. I write uh, about the liberation struggles in Southern Africa and the world over. The ghost of Soweto was seen yesterday after daybreak, grinning at funeral marches, shining metal teeth jutting from red gums were sucking the naked blood of cold people. I come from a generation of poets who are trying to resuscitate that culture which was actually either destroyed or seriously damaged. The ghost of Soweto was seen yesterday at sunset, howling at the moon faces of boiling and steaming people before disappearing to the cold suburbs of Pretoria. Yara, 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 